As you can see, six foot one, I have at least uh, four inches of headroom. So we spent a week with this car. Obviously, when you drive it for a week, as opposed to driving it around the block or even for a couple of hours as we did at the launch of the uh, terrain, I gotta tell you, this car, technology-wise, is hands down, head and shoulders above the rest. It's premium system. The graphics are just above and beyond. They really, really stepped it up there. One thing I like is when we're running low on fuel, most cars do today with some kind of warning light, but it took it one step further. It actually asked us if we really liked that. Automatic tailgate, a wonderful function. They took it one step further. They actually have a now, what that means is max, when you when you open it, it'll open all the way up. Three quarters, th oh, if you're five foot two, then you don't want it all the way. If you're six foot two, you do want it all. There's other cars, luxury cars, that have made that adjustable, but it's uh, it's, it's it's kind of a hassle. You actually have to program max and three quarters. That makes sense. I really like that. The car really has everything you need. It's got the Bluetooth. It's got a very comfortable seats. We took a good lengthy trip. Wonderful, great support. The car handles well. Now, I will say this week, this is the front wheel drive model, not the all wheel drive model. The car was a little squirrely. So if that's important to you live in an area where there is uh, you know, inclement weather, then you may want to, let's talk about the bad. Fuel economy was not the greatest. This is the V6 model, not the